It's Thursday evening. Welcome to the programme. We start tonight with a theft that's happening more and more across London. It's also getting more brazen and sometimes violent. Criminals are stealing catalytic converters from cars in the capital for the precious metals inside them, which they sell on. It's costing owners thousands of pounds, and the Met says there's been a surge in the number of cases during lockdown. Guy Lynn has this report. 300 officers raid homes across East London, Kent and Sussex. In the latest crackdown by forces across the southeast, on a crime which causes misery for motorists. Several are arrested, suspected of ripping out car parts which filter out toxic fumes. And what those thieves want is this. The catalytic converter has no value in itself. It's the precious metals inside. And the price of those has soared, meaning big money for those criminals. And big misery for motorists, like Mo. She's not driving her car. Thieves ripped out the catalytic converter on her vehicle a few days ago, so she had to hire a new one for work. She caught the thieves red-handed, who violently threatened anyone who tried to get in their way. It's cost her £2,000 to repair. My neighbours went out to try and stop them and they were very threatening. They um, said that they would ram her and her car because she threatened to block them in. I'm absolutely gutted because it was a car that I bought with my late father. What makes me so angry is that I actually worked really hard to buy that car and they felt that they could just come in and just take what they want. They, don't, they haven't earned that. And um, I was so angry and also sad at the same time. Here's CCTV of another crime in the last few weeks. No need to hear the words to imagine the sheer terror of the victim who tried to confront them. What was taking place more in dark car parks with no one around has moved more to outside houses over lockdown, with the Met saying reports have surged. They're now targeting people on driveways. Because we're not moving around in the same way we were before, they're targeting people and therefore people are feeling less safe because of the way that they are willing to use violence if necessary, if, if uncovered or disturbed. In the latest police operation, hundreds of stolen converters were seized. The police say owners should label their converters to stand a fighting chance of ever getting them back. Small comfort for a crime that soaring takes just minutes and causes such anguish and pain for its victims. Guy Lynn, BBC London.